Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a review of the Casper mattress. I've owned it for a little bit over two years now, going on three. And the next thing we're going to be talking about is comparing it to a purple mattress. You can see that that mattress I am swapping out my Casper for, and I'm going to show you why here in a moment. So first things first, if you're lifting this up here, you can kind of see the uh, Casper logo right here. Uh, there is right now three different types of Casper mattresses as of 2019. This is the middle tier, it's called the Casper. Uh, they do have a new Wave mattress that has come out, so maybe that is better than this one. Uh, this particular mattress, uh, you can tell it's got the gray size and the white top. Um, the Wave mattress, uh, which is more expensive, is white all around. Uh, and then I believe that the other version I'll put up on the screen has a different look to it as well, and that's kind of the starter mattress. So first things first, when I got this, uh, my wife complained about her back being sore right out of the gates, uh, but they did say it takes a week or two for you to adjust to the mattress. What we ended up doing right away, uh, after about a month, was getting this piece of foam. So this is, a, I think, want to say it's a three inch piece of foam that we ended up adding to the mattress. And what that's done for us is it's kind of created an uncomfortable sleeping environment over the years because this has started to develop grooves in it. So what I want to do is I want to compare the softness of this Casper mattress with the softness of the purple mattress and kind of give you an idea using weights. So off the screen here again, oh, goodness, I'm weak. Uh, this one's a 35 pound kettlebell, kind of showing you what it looks like when you place it onto the mattress itself, what the bounce back is, what the give is with these different weights. And this is a moment for me to have some humility here is when you're using this mattress, this goes towards the bed board. You may notice that it is wrong on mine. So I've been sleeping on this the wrong way. So maybe that's attributed to the comfort level of this because the Casper mattress does have um, different levels of cushion depending on where you are on the mattress. So again, this Casper uh, little tag here should be by the bed board, uh, which is all the way that way. So keep that in mind, you know, as you're watching this video, how intelligent really is this person on YouTube that's talking to you. But uh, why don't I get this stripped off here and we're going to do the weight test and show you what that looks like. So I really like to have awkward video segues of me just rolling around on the mattress, but uh, here you can see that I am putting on the mattress the 35 pound weight and letting it sit there uh, for 30 seconds and then pulling it off. Um, and just wanted to give you an idea of like the impression that is left uh, from the weight on the mattress. I feel like that gives you an idea of kind of like the bounce back of the uh, mattress itself. Uh, and if you don't understand that Wayne's World reference, uh, please, please don't subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll never be friends, but uh, this is kind of a, a little test I was doing. I'm trying to show you here this kind of like back roller the uh, to use it to kind of show you the indentations that are left. And I think this next one coming up right here, you can see how it kind of always goes back into the indentation left by me. You can see how it kind of swiveled back a little bit. This is just to kind of show you how uh, after about a year or so of use, this Casper really just had these body grooves that got uh, just kind of built into the mattress itself. Um, I'm going to do a kind of a split screen shot here to show you. If you look at the top, you can see that I'm more sunken into the mattress than the middle. And then the, the bottom one is actually uh, where my wife sleeps and it's not quite as sunken in. Uh, you can do a freeze frame there if you want to check that out. But I wanted to show you uh, the unboxing of the actual purple mattress. I'm sure you've probably seen these in other channels, so I won't spend too much time here. Uh, but really the biggest difference in the purple mattress that I'm going to end with here is that it's just got so much bounce to it. Uh, when you throw the 35 pound weight on here, yeah, that was me uh, grunting. I, you, it just, it bounces around. So every night that I sit on the mattress, it's almost like I get this little bit of a kind of cloud feel when you lay down on it. So that's the biggest difference uh, that I've experienced from the purple to the Casper is the Casper, uh, if you were to drop something on it, it's gonna make more of a thud. And the purple mattress is more like a boing, boing, boing. And I know that's kind of a weird kind of description to give it, but that's really uh, the way it feels is it's got that more of a just kind of cushiony boing feeling to it. Um, I personally, after using both mattresses, because I've waited about six months to make this review on the purple mattress, uh, I prefer the purple mattress quite a bit more. Uh, it's one of the best investments you can make to have good sleep, but also make sure that your body is being well taken care of as well. All right, guys, if you found this review helpful, again, give it a thumbs up. And in the description, I'll provide links uh, to my referral links for Purple and Casper. 
and uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys in another video. All right, good luck and sleep well.